In Friends of Tepo Maseko will hold a memorial service for the late 33-year-old in Standerton in Bumalanga today. The Steve Chet, a local municipality employee, was shot dead during a strike over wages. The municipal workers were also demanding better working conditions. Maseko was among three workers, well, was with three others, I should say, who were shot and wounded on that day. Our reporter, Mweli Masilela, is live outside the venue for the memorial service, I believe. Mweli, tell us more about who this man was. Uh, Tambegi, let's just uh, maybe to correct you there, we are in Mendepec, that's uh, where the Steve Schwete local municipality is located and that's where the actual incident happened, where uh, armed security guards contracted by the Steve Schwete local municipality fired those shots last week on the 17th uh, of this month and that is when uh, Tsepo Masego, a 33-year-old uh, uh, employee of the Steve Schwete municipality was working as an electrician here at the municipality was fatally uh, short and uh, we know that there are some workers that were actually injured uh, during that incident. Well, we are expecting that uh, the workers who have been actually on strike for about three weeks now, Tembegile, will be gathering here just outside the Steve Chote municipality and then from here we are expecting them to proceed to the Mluzi uh, township which is not very far away from here. Uh, from here. That is where we are expecting them memorial service to get underway at about 2 p.m. And this strike at Megile, I must say that it was triggered about the issue of the grading of the municipality. The employees who are striking, they are saying that they are not happy with the manner in which uh, the mayor as well as the acting municipal manager have handled this issue of the grading of the municipality because according to them, they were promised that uh, this municipality will be graded uh, to level 5, which means that once that is done, they will then get better salaries but that has not been implemented. Also, another issue at Tembegile is that there were 16 employees that were suspended a few uh, months ago and uh, these workers now are calling for the lifting of those suspensions as well. We know that there's been also complaints about uh, that private security company that was contracted to provide protection services at this municipality. The workers who are striking believe that uh, due processes were not followed. There was no actually a council, a council resolution to ensure that everything uh, is assessed before those uh, uh, the people or that security company was uh, contracted to work for the municipality. But we also heard Tambegila from the side of the municipality through the acting municipal manager, that is Togozile Zulu, who actually uh, uh, held a media briefing to give us an update about what is happening here. Then she told us that uh, the appointment of that security company is something that was treated as an emergency because infrastructure belonging to the municipality as well as councillors uh, here at the municipality were not safe because they were being attacked allegedly by some of the striking workers here. So that's the current situation and looking uh, into the future, Tambegida, it looks like there, there is no uh, progress in as far as the meetings that the leaders of these workers that are striking have held with the MEC for Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, Mandan Lovu, as well as some national leaders of SAMO. So we will hear also from the leaders of these striking workers as to what is going to happen as a way, a way forward in as far as this issue is concerned, Tambegi. And Mweli, the shooting last week of these workers, including uh, Mr. Tepo, who passed away, has also, um, uh, shall we say, strengthened the resolve of workers because it's made them more determined to not give up in this fight against their employer. Yes, indeed. Uh, they believe that uh, the situation could have handled it uh, much better because even these issues that they are raising, they are saying that uh, they have been in bargaining for quite some time and uh, from their side it looks like the employer is not negotiating in good faith. So that is why they decided that no, they will stop going to work. And in fact, even when we spoke to the acting municipal manager, Togozi Zulu, she did admit that services have actually been really affected in this municipality in such a way that they are now considering uh, hiring services of private companies to provide basic services because these people who are on strike, even though it's an unprotected uh, strike, Tembegile, 
they are the ones who are doing the day-to-day -day work, uh, which includes picking up the waste and also plumbing and many other areas of work that are provided uh, by this municipality. So that's the current uh, situation. But we know that last week we also saw one of those security guards who was arrested uh, by the police appearing in court, and uh, he has been charged uh, with murder as well as uh, uh, attempted murder, as we hear from the side of the police. So. That's the current situation. The workers are saying that they are not prepared to go to work until the employer meets their demands. William Masilela, thank you very much for that update from Middleburg in Bumalanga. Still to come, the Human Rights Commission is investigating the circumstances around the death of a teenager in Soweto, allegedly after being mocked by a teacher. Stay with us.